Hey, credit warriors, welcome to the show. I want to talk about a credit card that has attracted a lot of attention over the past few years, and that is the Capital One Venture X card. Released in 2021, the card quickly became known as the most affordable high-tier travel credit card that gives full unlimited airport lounge access. The Venture X gives users both Capital One lounges and unlimited priority pass access, which gives you over 1,400 lounges. The cool thing about this card is that the annual fee is only $395, but when you subtract the $300 travel credit that Capital One gives you every year, and then either the value of the global entry credit that you typically use in your first year, or the 10,000 points Capital One gives you on your card's anniversary, anniversary year two onwards, both of which are valued at about $100, you end up with Capital One actually paying you $5 a year to keep the card. In a way, it sounds too good to be true. Now, last time we had a deal this good was the Chase Sapphire Reserve back in 2016, but with that card, they slowly chipped away at the benefits. It's still a great card, but it was probably costing a lot of money, so they started changing things. And one of the things was no longer allowing you to earn points on spending that triggered their $300 travel credit. Now, Capital One actually did almost exactly the same thing last year as one of three changes that they've made so far to devalue the Venture X card and presumably make it cheaper for the bank. We will go through all of those changes in this video, and the third change is one that literally just happened. So first of all, back in December 2022, Capital One Venture X holders lost Priority Pass restaurant access. Now this is a benefit where you can go to a restaurant in the airport terminal and Priority Pass would give you a credit towards dining there. It's usually $28 for the card holder and another $28 for one guest, so a maximum of $56 off your bill. But sadly, like many other credit cards these days, the Venture X lost the Priority Pass restaurant benefit. It was a great benefit, especially when lounges were full or not providing good food. You could get a full meal in an airport restaurant for effectively just a few bucks after the credit was deducted from your bill. Now, next, in September 2023, Capital One effectively did the same thing that Chase did to the Sapphire Reserve travel credit. They made it so that you can't earn points on the spending that triggers it. Now, they did it in a slightly different way to Chase, though. Originally, the credit was a statement credit for $300 after you spent money on the Capital One travel portal. So you would spend, earn points, and then get refunded. But as of last fall, they have changed it to a discount of up to $300 on the Capital One travel portal. So you never spend the money in the first place, meaning you don't earn the points. It's a sneaky little move, but considering the card offers five points per dollar on flights and 10 points per dollar on hotels and car rental through Capital One travel, it saves Capital One between 1,500 and 3,000 points a year per card member. And if you're looking at points being worth a minimum of one cent per point, that is between $15 and $30 per card member per year that is saved for the bank. Or conversely, $15 to $30 that you miss out on on redeemable points value each year. Now let's look at the change that just happened. Capital One has added fine print to the Venture X's terms, stating that the Hertz President Circle car rental status, that is their highest status, that the card provides will end later this year. Here's what they say. Eligible card holders will remain at that status level through December 31st, 2024, at which point they will be reverted to the level commensurate with Hertz's standard usage policies. Commensurate, that's a new word for me. Okay, I've never seen that before. Anyway, um, so this was first reported by the thrifty traveler who I guess was just browsing the terms and conditions and somehow noticed it. Now, it is possible that they could reach a deal with Hertz and extend the benefit into 2025. That may happen, but as of now, it is ending at the end of the year. Despite these cuts though, the Venture X does actually remain a solid card. I mean, it has a 75,000 point welcome bonus. The Capital One Lounge Network is expanding. You get Plaza Premium Lounges too, and you get unlimited guests at Priority Pass Lounges. That's something that other cards, most other cards do not provide. So in my opinion, it is still a card worth having. I don't want to discourage you guys from getting it. We're just kind of telling you what the situation is. And it is kind of natural that banks do come out with a product that it's a little too good 
and then they do kind of chip away at it and slightly devalue it. And it's obvious to me that they're trying to trim small benefits here and there so that they can avoid having to make some serious cuts like reducing the amount of the travel credit or devaluing the miles you can earn or reducing the multipliers or whatever. But if hurt status was important to you, then there are other cards on the market that give you that benefit. If after all that, you are still interested in the Venture X, which I'm sure some people still are, there are many positive factors about the card after all. Do check it out in my credit card guide in the links below. As always, the cards featured in that guide are affiliate links, they do help us out tremendously, but we thank you very much if you do use our links. Advertiser disclosure is right at the bottom of the description section if you want to read it. As always, please subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.